Hey everyone, Lucas here, and first day of free agency happened today, July 1st. Always a fun, exciting time in the NHL where you get all the free agents available, teams trying to pick up some players. Always a fun, busy day to see what uh, your team does. And Florida actually made a couple of moves uh, during the first day of free agency as for the additions, we added Dadnoff. Um, he used to be a Florida Panther um, at a time, and then uh, we just couldn't sign him, so he went to the KHL, played there. Actually, did really well over there last year. I think he had like 30 goals. Um, he set a KHL record, I believe, for most playoff goals in one season as well. Uh, so definitely a good addition. I was a little hesitant on though on this one because um, again, in the NHL, he really hadn't done much with our team, uh, but again, seeing what he's done in the KHL, and then just seeing that he could be paired with uh, Hubido and Barkov, man, that now these guys, these now Hubido and Barkov, now have uh, a guy around their age that's got speed, that can score, um, so that is going to be a really dangerous line. I can't wait to see what happens there. As obviously, we haven't signed, uh, we could not sign Yager, so we have decided not to uh, be... Um, continue on with him as a player. Um, so again, that's top line, man. That's going to be a fun line to watch, and I can't wait for that. Uh, then we also signed Verbata, a guy I wanted to sign forever uh, as a Florida Panther. So I think he's going to be really good. I think he'll be strong on the power play. He can definitely score on the power play. Uh, definitely see him probably on the second line uh, uh, with Bukestad. So Bukestad finally has a guy that can support him on that line. Which will be really good for uh, Bukestad. Finally, hopefully, he can get his game elevated uh, in there. We, we signed Petrovic for one year. Panther fans are a little hesitant on that one, uh, why we only did one year. Uh, but it came out that his agent and him agreed that they just wanted a one year, see what he can accomplish in that one year, and then go from there. I think the Panthers will definitely re sign him after this one year is up. I think Petrovic will finally be able to prove himself as a player. Um, during the 2017-18 um, season. Um, and then we finally signed, the last guy we signed was um, Hanley from the um, San Jose Sharks. Uh, he's a fourth line guy, a fighter, you know, he's got that toughness, he'll pretty much be replacing uh, Thornton. You always need a fighter, at least on your team. I, that's my opinion. Um, you know, I'm still a strong opponent for fighting in the NHL. I know there's some people out there that don't agree with it, but um, definitely... Uh, you didn't need that toughness. You need someone to, that's going to be able to stick up uh, for the younger guys and stick up for you know your, your star players as well. And we have that in um, Haley. So as for the departures, uh, obviously I mentioned Yager, um, Kyle Rao ended up signing with his home native team of Minnesota. So congrats to him. Really be cool to play in front of his hometown team um, on a consistent basis. Um, then I got this guy's name wrong all the time, and you guys constantly corrected me. Thank God I don't have to say it anymore. Um, but Sabosa uh, is finally gone uh, as a Florida Panthers. We did not uh, resign him. And then we obviously, uh, with uh, Jokinen, we bought out his contract, so he we have now parted ways with him, which, again, he really wasn't a – I don't think he was a second-line guy. Who knows? Maybe we could have moved into the third or fourth, but you know this is the direction Dale Talon wants to go with this team. This is his team again after the just debacle that happened last season. It pretty much started around this time last year, and just just so many moves, so many personnel changes, and stuff like that. Um, now Dale is finally taking back this team, making it his team again, um, and wants to go uh, with the young team uh, with you know, emphasis on defense, uh, but again I, I think I'm going to like the route that Talon's going right now with this team um, you know, he's really never steered us wrong except for that Bowen signing a few years ago at this time, which beyond me is why we have signed him, and beyond a lot of Panther fans, except um, Ralph, who continues to have a love affair for um David Boland, but hey, to each his own, right, guys? To each his own. So, what do you guys think of the first day of Florida Panthers um, free agency? Do you guys think Florida made the right moves? 
Uh, do you think we got guys that can now produce uh, for the Cats? I know losing Marshall Stone and Smith uh, of the 50 goals there are gonna, could hurt, but I think now with Hubido and Barkov, you got um, Dadnoff on that first line. I think that's going to really free these kids up to really be able to excel to their top level. Like again, nothing against Yager, great mentor and stuff like that, but he was very he was um, you know aging. He was at that age where he just couldn't keep up with kids um, of Barkov's and Hugo's age. Um, do you think we could have signed someone else? Let me know down below, guys, in the comments. Um, one other thing, too, I do want to announce before I close this video. I finally found out we can do live um, broadcasts on your phone now. So I can broadcast live now through the YouTube app, which I am ecstatic about. I really want to do a live thing sometime uh, with you guys, maybe during the, during the summer. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and do a, um, maybe we'll all watch like a, a hockey movie together. I don't know. Give me some ideas of what we could do as a live stream. I would love to do a live thing with everybody, get everyone involved, uh, get Panther fans up and uh, together and interacting with each other. Um, so let me know also down below what you guys think we should do. But with that, if you guys like the video, give that big thumbs up, um, share, and as always, hit that subscribe button if you love my uh, content. Uh, I do have some more stuff coming out uh, later this summer. Uh, again, got to think of some stuff. I might do some, uh, maybe top tens or something like that. Maybe make a montage uh, of um, Yaga goals. Never know. Might be up my sleeve, but uh, we'll see what comes up. So. Again, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.